Hey everybody, Marion here. I'm back with another Smashbook flip. I've been working on a few more pages that I wanted to share with you. This one is some of the animals in Virginia, uh, thing, animals that we've seen around the area here. The writing might be a little bit hard to see on this background, um, but I just kind of wrote a little bit about it. Uh, this one, it's one of my favorites. It's my coffee themed page. And what you're going to notice uh, through my smash books is I do a lot of stickers. And the reason is because it kind of gives me something to start writing about. It helps me start a theme. So I find things at my craft store that I like, some stickers, and that sort of starts me off on what I'm going to do in my smash book. So this was already on the on the page, and then I just kind of added the embellishments around it. Well, that was a lot of fun. Then, let's see. This one here, I probably would have never thought to do this, but I saw this sticker here, and it's a little money bag. It's really cute, and it has some dollar bills sticking out, and I thought, I'll just do something on if I had oodles of money, I would, and then I put down all the different ideas of what I would do. And it was really a lot of fun. And these little circles I just um, punched with my circle punch and uh, did some doodling around it. Same thing with this one here. And then I added a tag there. Yeah, so that, that one was a lot of fun to do. This one here, again, I got stickers. This one, um, was my Europe stickers, which was nice because it had some of the different ones where I've actually been, which is France, Italy, Germany, Netherlands, my husband's been to Greece, so that started off the theme for this smash book page. And then on this side here, um, I wrote all about flying. And so I put my sticker of the airplane there and all the reasons why I love to fly. And... This page here, I cut some pictures off my computer of me and my horse. And here's our two horses there. I thought that was cute how they're both getting the flies at the same exact time. This is just a ribbon here. Again, I have stickers, stickers, and just some doodling and writing. That's about all there was to that page. This one. I found some really cute stickers at Hobby Lobby that had to do with genealogy. So I made this page um, one where I actually put names and dates and where people were born. Over here a little bit of a story about uh, some of the family members. So this one was really special, but I liked you know, how the stickers actually got me thinking about doing a page like this. And this one here I thought was kind of fun because the Smashbook already had the background with different foods. And so I added these two cards, these beige colored cards, and it says six things I love and, you know, foods that I love. And on this side is the ones that I dislike. And then I found stickers going along with the foods that I like and I don't like. And then on the inside here, this is just a cutout photo from, from magazines. And then these little guys, which I love, the little chefs. Those are so cute. But yeah, these stickers are adorable. Um, this one is mainly photos from when I met my husband. Uh, we met skiing, and so they had some really cute stickers of a little um, chalet and a ski lift. Uh, and let's see here. Okay, this one is my gnome page. Uh, they had really nice stickers here. I love these. I'm not sure. I think they're uh, Jolie's. And so I put them on here. This Smashbook again had this gnome here. So that easily set the theme for me. I went ahead and cut some, or printed some pictures from the computer. And then I put some facts about gnomes and a little bit of history about them and added a few more stickers and some ribbon. And that's about it on that one. Let's see if I... Oh yeah, I have 
this one here, which is my Halloween. It just seemed kind of a gloomy color page, so I went ahead and did a Halloween theme. Um, this bat here was on some of my uh, scrap papers, so I cut him out, stuck him on there. Probably should have put him on this side. He might have shown up better, but it's okay. And then here, I just wrote all the different costumes I've worn over the years that I could remember. Some when I was little, and even up into my adult years. And then here's another sticker. I don't know if you can see that. And then I did some um, circle punches here that went along. It was a, a Halloween pack, so it had some really, really pretty papers, actually. And I think I have one more back here. Yeah, this one here is a, my fall page. This is just a picture cut out from a magazine. Same with the, the words there. These leaves um, were just some embellishments that I had at home. This is cut out from a magazine, so are the apples and the leaf um, and the candy over here. So, as, you know, a lot of these I just had um, some stash in my, in my craft room and I just kind of added to it and wrote about fall and why I like fall. So I think I covered everything in this book. I feel like I missed a page, but I guess not. So the next smash book is actually my very first one. And I've done another video of some of the pages, so I'm just going to jump around and show you the, the newer ones. This here is all um, just words and phrases that I saw in magazines. Oops. And I just thought it was fun and very easy to do. I was able to just sit on the couch with my magazines and, and do this. So this one was really easy. And this one here is uh, my winter theme. Ten reasons I like winter. And let's see, what else? Um, most of these little embellishments I added, they're stickers. And down here, and then just some of the writing and doodling. This one here is really just a single page. I didn't do a double layout on this, but it's my kind of vintage Las Vegas. Uh, some of the memories that I have of old Las Vegas. Um, I had these stickers so I wanted to use them and then I went online and just printed up some pictures. So I really don't know what I was going to do on this page. I'm not sure yet. This one is, I, I like the stickers of the doctor's um, clothes and the stethoscope and band-aids and all that, so I decided I'm just going to do a page of all my illnesses I've had over the years. Different things I've dealt with and I thought it was fun doing the different doodles down there. And there's some more stickers. So it was really a lot of fun, you know, to look back and go, oh my goodness, I've had, I've had some ailments over the years. Um, a lot of these I would have forgotten, so it, in a way it's kind of neat to have it in the Smashbook. Alright, and so that about does it for this one. And I have one last one. This one here is my paint page. It looks really busy, but it's just paint brushes and paint colors, mainly brushes um, that I cut out from a magazine. Um, I just, I love paint brushes, and this was pretty easy and fun to do. Um, I have some washi tape here and there. The polka dots are all washi tape. And these circles here were just cut out from magazines. And some of these here, just also cut out from magazines. This one is all my scriptures. I have a lot of stickers that are that have the um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Encouragement and things like that. So I like to put those all together. I have my little Bible sticker here, and then this is pieces of washi tape here and here. Um, 
So mostly this is just covered with all the um, all my stickers. So let's see. I think that is it actually. Oh no, this is my last one. I don't think I've shown this one. I am going to be a grandmother to a little girl pretty soon. So I wanted to do this page here and I put the ultra or the sonogram pictures here. That was her the f very first sonogram. And then these shoes here, these baby shoes I thought were so adorable. And I had some of this extra paper at home, more stickers. This picture was already in the smash book, so I thought it was really good to just build off this page. And I just I did some doodling. This here is just a plastic. Um, I'm not really sure where I got that. It might have been a, a button or something. Um, so I think that's about it on, on my smash book. So I have about three videos now put together of all the pages that I've done. So if you're interested in seeing any of the other pages, um, just go to my YouTube and you can look and see the other smash books uh, pages. And if you want to follow me on my blog, you can find me at mariansretreat.com. So thanks so much for watching. Bye.